guys, it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a little bit of a different video for you guys. I do not have a card video for you, and I'm sorry about that. But I have been working really, really hard on a mixed media project, and it has taken up a lot of my time the last um, several days. I've put about 10 hours into it. And if you watch my last haul video, you probably know what I'm talking about because I did share it quickly at the beginning of that video. And if you follow me on Instagram, I've been sharing pictures throughout. But um, what I did was a mixed media birdhouse that I am doing for a local silent art auction that benefits our women's shelter and um, they provided us with these birdhouses and then we could transform them in whatever way we wanted to. So it can be an outdoor piece, it can be an indoor piece, it could be um, painted, you could, you could do whatever you wanted. And I chose to do mixed media. Um, so I'm just going to share the final result. It's like I said, um, my tripod is homemade so it's not adjustable so I was not able to film just because it is so large. But this is the end result here. I'm completely done now. Finished last night and then I just had to wait for some things to dry before I could film. But um, this is what I have. It was originally just a solid wood plain birdhouse and I gave the entire thing a coat of gesso and then I layered some Tim Holtz tissue paper over top of that. Um, you can still see some of it here. There's like a butterfly and some different words and things um, that are still coming through. And then I layered a lot of paint over top of that and I did some stamping and then I added my elements and then added some glass bead gel on top of that to give it a little bit of shimmer. I don't know if you guys can see that. I've got some here and across her dress and over here just kind of here and there I kind of scattered it but anyway so I drew this little girl the theme of the um, event is come fly away with me and the name of the organization is Erie Dawn so I kind of did a day to night theme inspired by that and then I incorporated some different of the fly things um, I gave her kind of like a windswept look with her hair and her dress blowing off to the side and I added some birds and um, you know, just different things that would um, incorporate that, some of the words and things. Um, so I cut her out, I drew her on book paper and then cut her out and then I drew her dress on pattern paper and trimmed that out and then I just drew in her, I layered her on and drew her hair. I get, also gave her some little welly rain boots so I just thought that would be cute. Um, and then I added some clouds with some text paper and I added a phrase. This one says she took her dream and made it a reality. And um, I added a little bunny on each side too. So there's the one here and I drew him on book paper as well and then just painted over top of that so you can kind of see if I can get close there. There's a little bit of print through it which I wanted um, it to look like that. So. There's a closer look at my little girl. And then I added some Studio Calico wood embellishments and just painted those. I have some of those on each side. And I also cut out some flowers from pattern paper and um, just lined everything with a black gel pin to give it definition. So that's the front. And then the next side is the day fading into the night. So I've got another little tree here and this one says spark your dreams and then I've got another little bunny over on this side and then I have some more little wood embellishments here and this is kind of symbolizing that um, the sun is going down or that the day is over and then there's another little wood heart here on the cloud. There's a look at that. And then the back side is the night. So I have the dream big sentiment on my big tree. I've got some birds in my tree here. And I added some more Studio Calico wood stars and I just painted over those. And then I've got a little sleeping bunny down here. As it's nighttime. So, and then the last side is the night fading back to day. And I've got some more little wood embellishments symbolizing um, forward motion or that the day is returning or whatever you want it to mean to you and then it says make good things happen 
And then I've got another little wood heart here on my cloud. There's some more um, of that glass bead gel. I don't know if that will catch the light there. There's some more over here. I just kind of put it here and there with a palette knife. Here's a bunch right here. And then I've got another little bunny down here at the corner. And yep, that is my birdhouse. Um, on the roof I just added some um, embossing paste that I added paint to to give it a little bit of a brick texture in certain areas. And I just painted it red and then I put some brown paint around the edges to kind of um, give it some definition. And then just kind of added little bits of paint here and there because I wanted it to be very um, imperfect as we people are, you know. There's a lot of meaning that goes into this um, for myself and a lot of symbolism in the different things that I did, but you know, I want whoever gets this to interpret it for themselves, so I hope that they really enjoy it, and I hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at it. So, um, thank you guys for watching if you stuck with me, and like I said, if you need, wanted to see more photos of the entire process, you can check those out on Instagram, and um, yeah, if you're interested in me doing a project like this, let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll see what I can do. But I hope it does well at the auction, and uh, I'm just glad to support a good cause. So thank you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Here's a couple of detail shots of each of the four sides. You can get a better close-up look at some of the um, different layers there. It was definitely a labor of love, but I really enjoyed doing this project, and um, I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Here's a couple extra videos that are older mixed media videos from my channel. Um, I do plan to do some updated ones in the future, so stay tuned for that. And you can always click on my photo to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye-bye.